Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into the talented Mr. Ripley. I'm excited for this one, even though I have no idea what it's about, other than the fact that Matt Damon is in it. Um, yeah, this one won the Patreon polls, and uh, I... I seriously don't know too much about this film. I mean, this intro is going to be uh, pretty short because I just literally don't know anything about this film. So this is going to be incredibly blind other than the fact that I, I can see that uh, Matt Damon is in it. Um, I believe there might have been an older film maybe uh if i'm correct i don't even know if they're like uh in the same universe or should be held at the same length because you know they, they might be entirely different but you know regardless i'm excited to jump into this you guys know how it is over here i enjoy going into the unknown and just seeing what i can pull from it in hopes of you know showing greater appreciation for films like this and like always guys if you want to have films like this or see more type of films like this definitely check out the patreon that's where we do the patreon polls and all that good stuff and hence why you see every monday and wednesday you guys see films that you see on the channel so it's really thanks to the patreon and if you want to join that community by all means check the link below it'll take you right over there we got early access we got again the patreon polls we got full lens it's a great time over there so if you want to do that much appreciated you can also support the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe it really does help out especially the thumbs up button so if you're able to hit the thumbs up button and give it like two seconds maybe one if you do dare yourself um it really does help out the channel and just showcases the videos to a much broader and wider audience just in case we want to showcase some of the love here um but at the very least i just want y'all to be able to just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into the talented mr ripley again guys if you want to be able to watch and hear everything that i have to say maybe your favorite scene isn't in the youtube edit definitely check out the patreon link below we got all types of full in so you'll be able to literally hear and see everything that i gotta see wow this is a beautiful opening this is a gorgeous opening i love this That was really cool. It showcased all the other words that could have possibly described him prior to him being talented, maybe. It was super quick, but I did I did see all those words flash by. Class of 56. Class of 56. How is Dickie? Oh, wow, wow, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. He didn't look like he didn't know him. He looked like he did know him, but knew something was up with Dickie. Thanks a lot for the jacket. Thanks for filling in for me. Take care of that wrist. Bye, friend. Um, well, I guess he is super talented. Damn, did he really just do that as like a gig? <laughs> he really just played the piano for someone who played the piano? Is that what just happened? To come home. Wealth is I'd pay you. a major play here from what I'm seeing, from what I'm hearing. This play on wealth. Uh. I have always wanted to go to Europe, sir, but good. It's interesting seeing what he really likes to do, which is like playing piano from what it seems like. I love the style of this film. Like the editing is really cool. Definitely love how it's like infusing jazz and the, the creativeness of it. Makes for a really dope pacing. I tell you, the Greenleaf name opens a lot of doors. My man's like, let me sit back and just allow my life to be set <laughs> instantaneously. I'm pretty sure it's not going to go down like that, but that is pretty uh, hilarious. Meredith <laughs> Randall. Um, Dickie Greenleaf. Hello. Why did he just lie? Why, 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 why did, he, why did he just lie about that? What the heck? His name is not Dickie. What the heck? <laughs> Go off the dress. I travel under my mother's name too. Randall. Right. So, Ro. Oh, Are you guys both doing the same thing to each other? Is that what just happened? Did y'all both low-key just lie to each other? Why? 
<laughs> Why? I've eaten Santa a March. Questo e la faccia. Yo, guys, I, I, I know this sounds crazy. First off, is that the guy from Gattaca? Second off, is this like low key, like a Nightcrawler film? And I only mean that because he almost seems like a sociopath in that way. He just, he's very observational. And he's also lying, <laughs> which is creepy. Like, he really does remind me of the main character from Nightcrawler. Okay. Did we know each other? Hello. Uh, well, I knew you, so I suppose you must have known me. Yo, this is crazy. This is wild. I was not expecting this type of film. I'm starting to get the vibe of it now. This dude's a chameleon. Well, coincidence. Dude, that is so creepy. <laughs> that's, that's creepy. That is super freaking weird, man. Okay, I'm liking this, man. <laughs> they did a good job at really obscuring what this film could be about. But it makes that opening title with all the words before talented make so much more sense now. Signatures, uh, telling lies, impersonating practically anybody. That's three. Nobody um, should have more than one talent. Wow, okay, that's crazy. This dude's literally just like, yeah, this is who I this is who I am, this is what I do. Other people sell them. It's too much. You're making all the hairs on my neck stand up. Oh, that's yes, crazy. Jan. That is insane. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I feel like he's here. <laughs> Horrible. Like, the like that would be only cool if it, if he wasn't creepy. <laughs> Could you ever conceive of going to Italy, Tom, and uh, bringing him back? What? I'd pay you if you would go to Italy, persuade my son to come home. I'd pay you a thousand dollars. Yo, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. This is just absolutely creepy. That is so creepy, man. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'd be freaking out. Look, Dickie, I don't know. I just go know. back, go back to New York or call him if you can find a telephone that works and tell him wild horses would drag me back to him or his shipyard. I really love that shot. That entire shot, I really love for a lot of reasons. But other than the, you know, the one shot take that was, I love all the moving pieces that were happening with that. I love that they're using the composition of the architecture that's going on within the landscape here. Like, that's really cool. This is the best. Baker, Rollins. Mark says she likes jazz, but she... I mean, dude, at this point, Homie is, like, low-key trying to warp reality. <laughs> like, that's pretty insane. It's, it's great. You're gonna love it. And I know this is probably, like deep in itself and probably has no connection but it is interesting to think about jazz kind of does what matt damon character is doing like it's able to work its way into any situation because it's just so it, it's just everywhere it can kind of do anything that's the beauty about jazz at least to me i like him marge you like everybody dude that's so creepy that is so creepy. Oh, man. You like everybody. Now you'll find out why Miss Sherwood always shows up for breakfast. This is insane. He is 100% a chameleon. That is scary. This dude is just viciously good at just doing what he's doing right now. You're doing really well. All right, bars open. Yes, please. Hey, can we sail to Venice? Sure. I love this. I mean, damn, I'm not going to lie, y'all. This life right here is kind of dope. Would I impersonate? <laughs> no, absolutely not. But it is nice looking. Without the glasses, you're not even ugly. Did he just memorize his signature? Is that what that was about? Did he really just memorize his signature? I swear if he did that, I'm going to lose my mind. Is it you? It doesn't look like you. God. Letters. Greenleaf and Foripe. Ooh, Fran. 
And because of the nature of this film, it really lets the, the, the editing have such an even greater role in this film. Frederico! Como esta? Bene! Ciao bello! Como esta? Damn, this dude just pulled up on the damn sidewalk. <laughs> Oh, is that Philip Seymour? Yo, I didn't even, yo, I didn't even notice that. Oh, man, dude. R.I.P. to the homie, man. Dude, I love this channel because it really let me recognize just how great people like him are, you know? Mm. Where have I seen that before? I've seen, I've seen that reference from a photograph before. Damn. That's also a really gorgeous shot right there. What was that? Ah, man, they referenced that from a photo. If anybody could let me know, that would be greatly appreciated. Because that's going to make me lose my mind. First set eyes on you. May I? What are you doing? It almost feels like when he's listening to music and buying himself, it's just, it's just like, like he feels free doing that that's like the one time that's like super genuine <laughs> oh yeah if you get bored you let me know because i'll do it <laughs> oh. he's such a good actor i love it bro i need to like see a giant compilation or montage of all of philip seymour's characters that he's ever played my goodness man it's really really cool seeing him tommy 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 I think the one thing that I am sensing that's different from the character, his character from Nightcrawler, is his sense to do anything and everything it takes to get his way. It seems like this character is a lot more comfortable just observing. But man, dude, if he has that tendency where he's like, no, I'm doing whatever it takes, it's over for everyone. He's seriously, like, dangerous. <laughs> I love that we're getting great scenes with the culture of where they're at as well, too. Oh, no. Oh, that's crazy. What the heck? Like what? Forget it. She was pregnant. Did you know that? Mm. Oh, dude. Damn. Oh, man. Was she pregnant with yours? Did you know? It probably would make sense why that, why she felt that way. Um, uh, I hope that the trip has... Yo, that outfit, though. What the heck? Oh, my goodness. Like, a part of me is like, ah, it's a little weird, but it's also kind of fire. It's like in there somewhere. Jazz, or is that for my benefit? Mm. Oh man. Ah, this is like just some weird tension. I love that the jazz is overlaid and they're yelling, and you can't tell like if he's serious or not. I love it here. I love it here. I'm gonna move here. Beautiful. This is a perfect place for something very climactic to, ver to, to happen. This is, <laughs> I am, I'm scared for Dickie, bro. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, in the ocean, with a, with a sociopath low key. But again, I don't think he's had the urge to do anything yet, which differs him. You know that. And it's boring. Oh yeah, you're going to turn him, you're going to turn him loose, man. This dude is going to destroy you. You should not be saying these words in the middle of nowhere. Come on, man. Thinking like a little girl all the time. Shut up. Oh, oh. oh God, Dicky. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, no. Oh, we have to get you. Okay. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. 
Oh man, oh golly, bro. This is this is yep, he caught his body. He he caught a body. Yep, he's now officially up there with the people with <laughs> dang. I mean, but this is so hard because this was I it's not like what? It's just so difficult because it was somewhat self-defense, but then it wasn't because he started it. What is he going to do now? Is he just going to completely take over his identity? I knew something was going to happen. Anybody out there in the middle of the ocean, like, come on. That was insane. He said his name. He said he was Dicky there. I love that they didn't, you know, have him say it on camera, but... I'm going to assume that he just took the identity of, of Dickie. That's crazy, man. Is that what he said? He, he wants to be alone? He was thinking of you. He asked me to deliver this. Thank you. Oh, man, dude. It's just really awkward. It's so... It's so awkward because you know we're, we're cursed with knowledge in this film. And it's like the craziest feeling ever. Senor Green, of course, welcome back. Thank you. Dude, that is so wild. <laughs> that is so wild. That is just... That, they they make it feel just unbelievably terrible. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yep, we were just talking about it. We were just talking about how... This could have some consequences because people know you prior to who you are. This is like a really effed up version of the before trilogy. <laughs> just seeing them just like journey and the camera just kind of following their conversation. It just so happens that this dude's just... <laughs> Not who he says he is. Tom! Marge! How are you? Wait, what, what are you doing in Rome? Is he here? Are you with Dickie? No. Um, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, wow. I just... My gut. My gut. I felt that in my gut, bro. That was... Dude, my heart plummeted. That was insane. Dude, this life is so stressful. It's just so stressful. It's so stressful, man. Heck no. Y'all can keep that. I don't want to do any of that. Do you know Dickie? You were at the opera. I'll try to explain. Yes, I was there. I was there with Dickie. <sighs> oh my God. This dude is conniving. <laughs> He's so, he is so manipulative. This man is next level. Meredith is the American girl I saw at the opera last night. She's been seeing something of Dickie. Oh my God. But the point is, Dickie, and we all know this. This dude is a monster. <laughs> he is a monster. It is, it's like a perfect blend of satisfaction, but more of just... Like, dude, why? Why are you doing all of this? <laughs> because it's like, damn, like, he is talented at what he's doing right now. It's pretty ridiculous and also remarkable, but more so pretty scumbaggish. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Incredible. The guy's just you know, disappeared off the face of the earth. I guess. Yeah. Ah, ah, man, it's just, that's what this film feels like to me right now. <laughs> it's a new piano. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> Philip is crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, man, dude, this is, this is, this is unnerving. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. 
This is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, he's... 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 He is going to be on a killing spree with this. Oh, man. Hey, if I'm drunk, think what her husband's saying. Dude! Hey, this is... Like, see, when he does that, it's fascinating. I'm like, damn, that's really talented. You're a murderer, though. <laughs> Your talent is used for bad. <laughs> and it stresses me out. Bro, like, I don't even think he plans any of this. Like, he just is so... Rea is this even a word? Reactionary? <laughs> like, he is just a product of circumstances. And his temper, and then he could have hit Fred. I'll catch up with you later. I feel so sad for this woman, man. She is just being thrown all over the place right now. Absolutely thrown. And she wants to identify you in a um, confronto. Line up. Tomorrow then? <laughs> This is so, this is so much. This is so much, dude. I'm just not with the stress. It's just going to crumble on him. And I'm so scared. Like, like, <laughs> like a part of me is like, just get away with it. So I don't have to witness everything fall apart. <laughs> you, the brother I never had. The only true friend I ever had. Dude, this is twisted. This is this is so twisted. Like this film, American Psycho and Nightcrawler can all be in a world together. It's all kind of just about how people can just be their circumstances. It's a suicide note. You asked me all these questions and you already read this suicide note? Dude, he's he's <laughs> He's really, he is so problematic. They, like, this is jarring to witness, like, in the best way possible. <laughs> I don't believe that, Lester. But also, man, some of these people are oblivious. I would have sniffed him out a while ago, but I think there is something to be had that this story takes place in, like, a very upper classman uh, uh, category. There's a private detective on the case now. A uh, Mr. McCarran, Dickie's father's employed. Oh, that's a terrific idea. He's American. Oh, man. She she knows something's up. She knows. Thank God, right? Like, it's about time. But, yeah, she definitely knows something's up. Just the way she's she's kind of, like, reacting around him. I'd like to talk to Tom alone. Perhaps this afternoon. Would you mind? Oh, wow. Then she's alone on this. She's the only one that suspects him. Oh, man, that's so unfortunate. I found Dickie's rings. What? You have Dickie's rings. Oh, oh, I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm cringing. I'm wet, Marge. I've lost my towel, and I'd really like to put some clothes on. Go and pour us both a drink. Ah, oh, God, this is bad. This is so bad. I hate this, man. I hate this. <laughs> I have just intense anxiety right now. <laughs> this is why you should never lie. You should never, you know, do anything like this. Just please be yourself. Just go to sleep knowing that you can wake up feeling... Like you don't have to look over your shoulder, just, just for the for the love of everything. <laughs> don't be this person. <laughs> it means when you make a promise, or I make a promise. He has so many realities. They ah, this is so well done. I love how they're shooting this. <laughs> but man, it, my body is alarmed. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. It's all true. <laughs> I don't believe a single word you've said. 
dude, you can sense this. Her, her, dude, she is scared. Man, I would be too. This is terrifying. As for you, either get a safety razor or grow a beard. This guy, like, <laughs> he just, like, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Kick the kid several times in the head. Put him in the hospital. Boy had a wire fixed in his jaw. Lost some hearing. Why do you think they are, oh, my goodness, man. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Marge, she has a hundred theories. There are a few things that she doesn't know. We hope she never knows. Damn, I cannot believe this. What? Oh, man. I think he can't even believe it either. He's like... To lose these in the canal this evening. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. This dude's like, yo... Just keep this quiet. And he's giving this guy his trust. Oh, no. No. Well, he's won. He's won. Marge. No! Marge! 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 No! No! You killed me! I know! No! Damn. That's... That's a shame. That's a shame. That is a shame. Ah, dude, that is really bad. That is really bad. That hurts my heart. No, I'm alone. Damn. Yo, those words. Those words hurt. Those words hurt. Dude, I want this movie to end, and I mean that in a good way. I just, I can't, I can't with all of this. This is just so much, this is so much unwarranted stress on my body. <laughs> I'm completely lost. I know. Dude, he's the ultimate gaslighter. He is the ultimate gaslighter. It's pretty insane. He smoke screens everything. It's just like, oh. <laughs> and if you are not prepared for that, you are gonna get shrouded. Good things about Tom Ripley. Dude, he's about to clap you, bro. He is about to clap you. Oh my goodness, he is on a murdering spree. This is insane. That is a good thing. Tom is crushing me. Wow, this is a crazy shot. Why do this? Why does this feel familiar? Have I seen? Have we seen this shot before? Was this at the first? Was this one of the first shots that we were introduced to? Oh, man, you just hear the audio of him just killing the person that loved him, essentially. Dude, what the heck? Oh my goodness, man, guys. And that wraps up the talented Mr. Ripley. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody, we just got done watching this film. This was stress inducing. This was so much stress upon my psyche. <laughs> and I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that ride of a film. And I love the way it ended. If I could be outright honest with you, we didn't get a black and white ending. We kind of were left with this gray ending, but it was very black and white in terms of just the life he is now forever trapped himself in, you know, and this, you know, in order to find his identity through any means necessary, he's lost it completely. And we're left with this ambiguous person that we like, it almost feels as though he didn't, he hasn't gone anywhere. It almost feels as though he hasn't changed. It's like nothing has um, has has necessarily happened except for him just causing a bunch of pain and destruction upon his path and i think this is like just essentially a movie about just a 
a bad person. <laughs> like just someone who is just essentially a really bad person. And, um, you know, the, the, the usage of portraying this story in the upper class men uh, of society is, I think, definitely really interesting because I feel as though doing this with any other class below that of the upper, this wouldn't have worked. Why? Because I think middle, lower class, you know, the whole that, we know what's real. We don't have this, uh, this, this, this blockade in front of us that I think a lot of people who are either born or inherit or even earn their money. Um, that, that echelon, that environment, your reality is so skewed because, I mean, dude, people are probably going to always want to come to you for money and, you know, they're always going to probably try to use you. And I mean, there's films like Parasite if you want to go into a deeper reasoning to what I'm going at or hinting at here. But I think the reason why this chameleon, uh, Matt Damon's character is able to really, really, really go in especially with the upperclassmen, it's because of that very nature, you know, because of that very nature where there isn't really anything genuine. There is a lot of, there's a lot of luxury. There's a lot of um, uh, colors and travel and, you know, it looks like there's a lot, but there's nothing that is genuine. There's nothing that you can tell apart. Um, and the only person that was able to do that was someone who, happened to be probably the uh, uh the, the character that suffered the worst through that and that was the fiance and the only reason she was able to understand is because what she had with um uh, uh with her with her you know with her husband you know was real you know it was difficult duh but the love they had for each other was real and that was the only thing uh they that, that she could difference, you know, she knew something was up, you know, we call it intuition or gut feeling, but we know it's like, no, like I see the facts in front of me, but I know something is wrong. And man, I mean, just seeing how everything just kind of, you know, circled around this event was just incredible to watch. This is a film that I definitely am probably going to have to, I'm, I mean, I'm going to watch it again anyway when I, when I edit it, but I definitely am going to go back and just look at all the, like the, the, the miniature details, because, you know, I'm sure Matt Damon's performance is something that you can always go back and find new, uh, new, new, new appreciation upon because his character is portraying that of like a chameleon you know he's definitely a product of circumstance so damn this was an awesome watch i was not expecting this i had no idea but now i do and my goodness i am shook so <laughs> i'm gonna be wary of any new person coming to be my friend or anything like that for the rest of my life now so that's great <laughs> but like always guys stay healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat